It seems to me that there are many people that doesn't understand how Apple's iCloud photo library works. And I must admit that uh, in the beginning I didn't know either how it worked, but uh, now finally I know how it works and it's pretty nifty. It's actually totally automatically. If you choose to have the option enabled for optimizing storage space, then this is very good because then you don't have to do anything just take photos shoot videos and so on and have them left on your device don't delete them because the iCloud photo library does that automatically for you it feels when your storage space starts to get uh, full and then delete the oldest photos the oldest videos automatically for you and replace it with a thumbnail so if you want to have that photo back to your device so you can watch it or the video then just click on the thumbnail and the video or photo downloads to your device again so you can watch it so all the photos and videos that are very old and you don't use anymore but you still have them left on your device iCloud photo library deletes automatically because it feels that you don't use these uh, photos and videos anymore so it will clear up some storage space for you totally automatically so you can record more videos and take more photos and then they upload to the iCloud photo library and the oldest photos and videos will be replaced with a new thumbnail that doesn't take up storage space for you. So for example on my iPhone 6 I have a 64 gigabyte iPhone 6. Uh, I have a photo library that is 11 gigabyte but in iCloud photo library I have photos and videos for over 40 gigabyte but I still see all those photos and videos on my iPhone but only as a thumbnail. All the media files are in the iCloud and not on my device but it seems that I have still all those photos and videos on my device. So if I for example install a new app that is very big for example around one gigabyte in size then iCloud photo library immediately starts to uh, remove media in your photo library on your device because you have them already in iCloud and replace them with a thumbnail to clear up storage space for the new app. That is how iCloud photo library works. It's very smart and it works exactly the same on your Mac if you have optimizing storage space enabled. So. You can have a lot of videos and photos on all your devices but they don't take up any storage space because they only show you a thumbnail. All the media files are in your iCloud storage. So I recommend you to subscribe to a, a storage plan for iCloud. I have a 200 gigabyte storage plan so I pay for that every month and it's a very small sum of money so it's worth the money to have an iCloud storage plan. The larger iCloud storage plan you have the better this will get. So even on a 16 gigabyte iPad or iPhone your photos and videos doesn't take up much storage space for you. In a sense you can have only thumbnails on your device if you have a iCloud storage plan because then all your media files are on the iCloud and on your device you only have thumbnail. Okay, I hope you understand a little bit more now how iCloud photo library works. Okay, bye.